Hello and welcome to CV Made Simple, the page dedicated entirely to making your transition into the cabinet vision world quick and easy, so you can spend less time stressing and more time building your business. I'm your host, Spencer Baker, and today we're going to start a series of quick videos answering the most common questions that new users typically have when it comes to getting started with cabinet vision. One of our most common issues we get has to do with understanding how licenses work. So I wanted to go into some quicker details on how that typically works. Older licenses were issued physical keys, sometimes referred to as dongles, that were essentially just flash drives that housed the information that we needed to know that it was isolated to just that one workstation. So when you pull the flash drive out, you were done with that workstation and you were ready to plug it in somewhere else. Now everything is done with a keyless license. And what that means is digitally, we have the same process. You're gonna unplug it from one computer and plug it into another. How you do that is done on Cabinet Vision through what is called a license revocation. So I'm gonna talk you through how to do that today. Okay, so first thing I want to do is pull up my Cabinet Vision license here. Now you'll notice my Cabinet Vision license might look a little bit different than yours. It might look exactly the same. The license that I'm currently using is version 2023, and it has the most recent splash screen on it that we have. If you're on version 12 or earlier, your splash screen will look completely different, but the process is still the same. Up here, you'll go to utilities. Now, if you are, say, in a situation where you're wanting to move a license from an old computer to the new computer, and you wanna take all of your settings with you, you'll also want to do a backup of your license. Now, I can talk you through how to do a backup in a little bit more detail later, but for right now, Let's assume we are going to do a quick backup and we want to take everything. So we don't need the material summaries in this instance, but I'm gonna go ahead and take pretty much everything and add it to a backup. So what this is gonna do is take all of my settings and it is going to save those in a way that we can carry them from this computer to the next computer. So right now it's creating a zip folder for me that we'll be able to find down here in our file explorer here in a minute. So that's all you need to do in order to save a backup of all of your software. If you wanted to go into more details, you can also do a setup package, which is located right here on the left of that, that would allow you to take individual items. Say you've got a new construction method that you wanna give out to some other users, or maybe a designer that also has a design license of Cabinet Vision. You can send that out to them directly without having to give them all your other stuff. But let's assume we were just gonna take a backup of everything we've got. Now we go into our license manager here, and we're going to sign this license out of this workstation. So here we are in the license manager. We have a lot of different options to choose from here, but the options we're looking for specifically is under server and revoke license. What this will do is take this server code and free it up so that we can copy it and put it onto a new workstation. So we'll just hit automatic revocation. We'll hit next all the way through, hit finish, boom. Now it says no standalone licenses are installed, which is what we want. So now, Cabinet Vision has no active licenses on this computer at the moment. If we wanted to go to the license manager and reinstall this license, we would simply go right here, hit install license, make sure the server code that you have is the correct server code for the workstation that you want installed on this computer. If you're looking for more information about licensing, you can find that on the customer portal online. And if you don't know how to do that, look for a video down below with some instructions on how to use our customer portal as well. Now that we are here in the licensing section, we've got our server code the way we want it to be. We will hit next right here, hit next again, and now we have a new lock code generated that's locking this server code to this computer. If you're getting a notification that it says your lock code doesn't match or the recovery code doesn't match, it means it's probably locked to an old computer somewhere. 
So the first thing you'll want to do is look for that computer and go through these steps again to ensure that it's properly revoked. If it's giving you that notification, it means it's locked somewhere else. And we can manually revoke it if it was a situation where something got stolen or you just can't get it to work. We'd be happy to help. You can get a tech support case open for that. But in the meantime, try to go back to the old computer and hit revoke on that. That'll probably be the way to clear up that whole issue. In the event that this was a transfer of licenses from an old computer to a new computer, I want to show you how you can take that backup and move it to the new computer. So first we'll go to our file explorer. We are going to look specifically for our hard drive. So in this instance, it'll probably say OS or something like that. If you're on a server, it's completely different. I'll do another video for those. But this is on your C drive for mine. I'll go to program files and then whatever version of CV that you're on. Mine's 2023, so I'll just double click that as well. I'm going to go down here and look for automatic backups. And now we have the one that I just saved for 411. Now from here, you can move it to a flash drive or to a Dropbox or maybe a Google Drive, somewhere where you can access it on the other computer because this is just going to be a file that we bring back to this exact folder on the new computer. We'll go to File Explorer, our hard drive, Program Files, Hexagon, Make sure that cabinet vision is closed as well. So now that we've done that, we need to take all of those settings and make sure that they're restored into this current version of cabinet vision that we've got. So what we want to do is just hit our Windows icon. We'll go to All Apps, Cabinet Vision, or whatever version you're on, and we'll hit the drop down. And you're going to look for Restore CV 2023 Settings. This is basically going to show you what that recent backup was. And then you can choose what you want brought over. This is essentially going to show you which backup you have access to and which files you don't want to bring over. You can simply uncheck the box and hit OK. Once we hit OK, all of those files are going to be restored back onto these databases. And your software should look how it looked on your old computer. If you do have an issue with your license, you can go up here to the top right corner, click this question mark and then you have this phone number you can dial for our technical support. Once you dial that number, it'll get you through to tech support where they can open you a tech case and get you all the help that you need. Like I said, quick and simple video to demonstrate how to refresh and revoke a license so that you can get up and running as fast as humanly possible. If you've got something else you'd like to see, feel free to drop a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe CV Made Simple, your home for all things cabinet vision.